Welcome to QA Scripts. It's a one-stop solution for software automation testing tools online and classroom training needs. QA Scripts is a one-click reachable center for software quality assurance freelancing. QA Scripts is a pool of professionals with highest passion of sharing their expertise with people in need and provide quality software application to client with minimum budget. We also provide 100% hands-on experience training on open source tools such as Code Java, Selenium WebDriver, APM, and also commercial tools such as HP Lean FT, HP UFT or QTP, and SOAP UI. We provide services to clients as freelancer to have defect-free application by performing functional, web service, and automation testing using automation tools. For training or application testing needs, please contact us using email or call details provided below. So in Selenium, what we are going to cover? These are the different topics we are going to cover. What is Selenium? then what are the different uh, uh, add-ons we need to work with Selenium uh, and uh, apart from that there are some uh, locators locators in the sense uh, we want to identify elements elements are nothing but the objects such as button links so and so in order to identify we have a, a set of locators I'll be explaining about them and uh, there are some uh, forms control so these are all uh, different topics so we would like to cover and I will send this uh, uh, content to, to you guys as well after this class and uh, the way we conduct the sessions are it's a more of uh, practical than uh, theoretical see uh, first one or two sessions will be a bit of theoretical but once we get into core Java or Selenium we will be writing the program and uh, we'll be showing to you and uh, I will ask you guys to write the program and uh, you need to write the program and show to me because uh, here uh, uh, we can share the desktop from your end as well. Okay, So this is a plan to go with uh, uh, Core Java as well as uh, Selenium online sessions. Before I start uh, the first chapter, do you have any questions? One question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, why do we need this Maven? Yeah, that... I have not installed it yet. I was not able to install it. Okay, you are not able to install. No problem. We need that uh, when we start uh, Selenium uh, chapter as well as uh, developing a framework. There are uh, different framework uh, in market such as uh, data driven, keyword driven as well as hybrid and uh, page object model as well. So uh, I will explain what uh, framework they are, they are and uh, how to use and what is the purpose and uh, uh, there is a, a big chapter for that. In that we are going to use Maven. So as of now if it is not working or if it is not installed, no problem, let it be. Uh, once we come to that uh, topic, then we'll uh, uh, try to install new system. Okay. okay. Any other questions? No. Chaitanya? Oh, yeah, I also had a problem with Ma Maven. I couldn't install Maven. Okay. Uh, the rest too, I did install them. So. Okay. No, no issue. No issues. Okay. That's... Okay. Um, is Java installed in your machine? No. Okay. And yes, I installed Java. Yeah. Installed, right? And uh, what about Eclipse? Is it installed? Yeah, e Eclipse is installed too. Eclipse is installed. Okay. Now, I think uh, <laughs> uh, you guys uh, might have heard so many times about uh, Core Java or might be. Uh, uh, used or read somewhere in uh, your uh, academics. So, any idea what is uh, Core Java? Okay. Core Java is uh, a very 
easiest uh, language what i can say uh, one second uh, devraj you are pinging me one second okay uh, looks like i'm i'm just seeing the cargo documents is there not regularly some okay is the same with chetan i think uh, both of you guys are on mute no, it's not good. okay no problem <clears throat> i'm on mute right now yeah okay so the uh, core java is a very simplest uh, language uh, uh, among uh, other uh, you know uh, language what we have in the market such as c c sharp so so and so on so i mean personally because it, uh, it it's a uh, very easy to learn platform independent platform independence in the sense uh, this program can be written in uh, windows uh, machine the same program can be executed on uh, uh, other machines such as uh, unix or linux but uh, that is not necessary as of now for the theoretical purpose uh, we are going to explain that okay this is a independent of a platform and so on so okay now question comes you guys said that uh, the java is uh, installed in our machine so how do you know java is installed so is there any way to know that a machine is installed with the code uh, uh, java or how do you how do you say the java is installed in your machine or working in your machine chaitanya i installed it and uh, i don't I, I, i didn't check it you know you didn't so check it sure how to check it okay no problem and yeah. devraj is it uh, installed and did you check whether it is installed or not okay i think he has uh, some uh, audio uh, issues so now question comes whether the system as uh, java installed or not yeah go ahead Oh, sorry, uh, I was on mute. Uh, I've installed it, and I, in a command prompt, I check for the version. So it's installed, and even I could see in the C. Uh, so you are able to see the see the uh, versions, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, for Chaitanya, if if we have installed, what happens? There are two ways to verify the. uh java whether it's installed or not what are the two ways okay. one uh, we are saying that you know layman way layman way is nothing but it's a, directly going into the folder structure and another way is a, a techy way let us look at the layman way what is the way you can as soon as you install what happens you can go to computer and you can go to uh, c program and uh, program files if it is already installed what happens you will be able to see one folder called java okay if you go inside the java you will be able to see other two folders such as uh, uh, jdk and jre of course i am into other folder that is program files uh, 86 bit but if i go to uh, 64 bit so here i have uh, java and uh, jdk file so usually it should be there two folders one is jdk and jre i will explain what is that jdk and jre later but these are the two folders you should have if a machine is in, uh, installed with core java but it's not 100% uh, installation there are chances of once you install these folders will come and sit into your uh, program files but it's not confirmed that uh, it's completely installed in order to know whether the java is completely installed in your machine and ready to work you need to follow the techy way what is techy way we need to execute one simple command in command prompt let me open command prompt first so here i have opened so what i will type i will type j java space iphone version so this is a simple command it will help you to understand whether java is completely installed and uh, set the variables again i'll tell what is that uh, setting environment variables so if a java is installed and uh, uh, variables uh, environment variables are set properly then after typing java iphone version 
and hit enter what you are going to see you are going to see the version of the java which is installed in my system i have installed updated version that is 1.8 so here uh, it's uh, displaying java version 1.8 if it is not installed properly or if the environment variables are not set properly then it will say java is not identified so on so error so can you execute this command from your end uh, chaitanya that is yeah, uh, actually oh, yeah. sorry I did, I did the first first uh, process which you told me and uh, I, I saw I saw the two folders okay and the second form I did when I installed it but uh, it was showing my uh, all the all the other way uh, it, it was fine when I did it first mm -hmm. but when I uh, in, install Eclipse you asked me to uh, not uh, uh, install Maven you asked me to set more environmental uh, this thing right okay so when I did that uh, uh, I after that uh, after setting uh, other two uh, variables uh, for Maven, okay. Maven. Something, something happened and I uh, messed up okay no? uh, yeah 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 so okay now what happens after installing uh, uh, Java so these are the two folders it will be uh, there in your Java folder okay but machine will not understand why we need to set the environment variable is very simple let me take one simple example here and uh, that uh, uh, you know that's a uh, easy to go ahead so what i'll uh, do i i think i have an example here let me check otherwise i will open one more yeah i have so here i have one image so can you just let me know what is this image Okay, so this is a image of a house or chicken uh, kitchen. Sorry. So here we have one uh, fridge. Okay. Okay. Let's say there is a one scenario. Okay. You and your uh, uh, partner decided that uh, you want to bring uh, a fridge to your house. Okay. And when you are in a college or in when you are in a office. To make you surprise, what happens? Your partner will uh, uh, purchase the fridge and uh, she will uh, uh, bring that to home and uh, everything will be settled and uh, she will call to you saying that uh, I have bought fridge to give a surprise to you. Of course, you will get surprised and you will be happy and you will be excited. Once you come back to house, what you are going to do is you are going to see that uh, fridge you you are excited you want to see that fridge and you will directly go to kitchen and you'll see the fridge is not there then what what happens you will go to other uh, rooms such as maybe uh, hall and you'll go there and you will see there is no fridge then question comes where is the fridge and uh, you will again ask to your partner where is the fridge okay now what happens here she bought the fridge to house, but she didn't tell to you that where is the fridge, whether it's in kitchen or whether it's in uh, hall or whether it's in bedroom. She is not mentioned where exactly the fridge is. It's there in house, but where exactly it's there. So it's exactly here. Installing uh, Java is nothing but bringing the fridge to your uh, house or bringing these uh, JDK and JRE folders to your machine but you have to tell to your system that where these two folders are there the jdk and jre folders where they are whether they are into c drive or d drive or e drive it should be somewhere right you have to tell to your computer hey we have uh, we have these uh, two folders in these so and so uh, so and so folders then it will be able to understand it will be able to uh, go to that particular folder and uh, then it will get it now it's a time to say where exactly my folders are there where exactly my jdk folder is there jre folder is there how to how to tell to my system is very simple you need to take the path of those folders for example here i have a jdk right Okay, so Chaitanya, you are getting screen, but uh, uh, 
okay uh, the sync is not matching or uh, it's not syncing with the screen the sync is, is is correct but uh, i'm getting a little screeching sound in my headphones when you whenever i mean it's continuous you know okay There's, it's it's very, very light so that's fine it's not disturbing much okay okay i don't know because i'm not using uh, headphones even i'm directly talking to uh, the the phone switch as uh, in uh, laptop Okay, I'll uh, just uh, give a uh, you know gap so that it will be easy, I guess. Okay, so now I need to tell to my system that this is the folder or this is the path. In this, I have a Java folder. For that, what you need to do is you need to open or you need to go inside the JDK and uh, you need to take this path that is C drive, program files, Java, JDK with version. Because here is the folder called bin. Almost all uh, uh, class files will be there inside the bin. So don't take it till bin. Only you have to open that JDK and uh, this much you need to take it. Okay. After taking this much, what you have to do, you have to set that environment. Set that environment is nothing but you are telling to your machine that where is the JDK folder. So how to do that? You need to copy this uh, path, then go to your uh, computer. Okay, right click and go to properties. Here there is a one option called advanced settings. If you click that advanced settings, you have uh, a button called environment variable. So here what happens, usually there will be one system variable called path. Okay, so in this path, whatever the software you are going to install uh, in your machine, that uh, description or path of those folders or the softwares must be present then only it's going to identify so directly you can add it here but what i suggest is create one uh, system variable how to create system variable very simple if you have admin rights the new button will be enabled so click on that and here since we are trying to set the environment variable of java you need to say something like this java underscore home this is a name you can give any name but this is a, a practice uh, and it will help us to identify easily so java underscore home and you need to paste the path what we have copied that is c program files java jdk with version so after doing this what happens when you click ok it will create one uh, variable like this java underscore home so on so i think you guys have done this okay if it is not done please do it because this is the way you are going to do it after typing this or after creating one variable that is java underscore home we need to go to another variable called path as i was saying this will be having all the information of software so i think chaitanya what happened in your case you directly typed something and uh, that's why it has uh, deleted or messed up so usually what what we need to do is in path since uh, it has a uh, uh, folder structure or folder information of other software also let us not uh, disturb directly let us copy that first whatever the content which is there inside uh, variable values i have copied I will open one uh, notepad first and I will paste it. It will be having a, a huge uh, line or uh, information like this because uh, it, it depends upon how many softwares we have in our machine. If you have more and more softwares, those many softwares information will be there here. So as of now, I have so many softwares and this is a big information I have. So what actually you need to do here is even it may be Maven or Java or anything, after uh, uh, pasting here you need to type semicolon because these are all uh, information or uh, path of other uh, information let us uh, other software let us not disturb that so separate by semicolon and type percentage and type your uh, variable what you have created that is java underscore home then percentage and make a slash that is 
backslash. Remember, this is a backslash. Don't use the forward slash. It's a backslash. Then say bin. Because we have uh, in folder, if you observe here, here, uh, this is a path we have copied and inside that bin is there. You can directly take till bin also, but it's not good. So take it uh, till bin. And here, what I'm trying to type, I'm trying to type java underscore home slash bin. So what is the java underscore home? Java underscore home as value, something like this, computer, C, of, uh, program files, java, so and so. So that is slash bin means this is nothing but we're directly pointing to bin folder which is there inside the C drive of Java. So that is what I'm trying to set. So after typing this much, you need to say semicolon because uh, we need to type uh, 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 if we want to install something like Maven or some other softwares, we need to type uh, those information also, right? So that's why we need to say bin then slash. So after typing this, again, copy this and go to that the path and now paste it back directly and say OK. So that's the way you need to do it. I already have um, a Java uh, as well as Maven. So I'm not going to take this. So in your case, uh, uh, Chaitanya, can you go to path and copy that uh, information first, then paste it on your uh, uh, notepad, see what is the thing it has, whether it has only Java or only Maven, or if you don't have java underscore ohm, first create the java underscore ohm, then we'll set it up. Just give me a moment. Yeah. So first check it whether we have a java underscore ohm. What I will do, I will make you as a presenter so that you can show your screen and uh, it will be easy for me to guide. So now you are the presenter. Yes, I can see your screen. I, I just... Uh... Okay, Devraj, are you able to see the screen? Yeah, I'm Okay. Did you uh, uh, set the environment variables already? Yeah, I yes. set it. Okay, okay, yeah. Sure. Okay, Chaitanya. So, here what we have done is, uh, have you created uh, java underscore home first? Yeah, I have created that. Uh, in environment variable? Yep, uh, I'll just show you that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Click on that. Uh, okay. So it's a uh, program files, JDK. Okay. No problem. Okay. And uh, now come back to your uh, path and you have copied something, right? So show me that how it is. Okay. So here. Uh, okay. So it's already not there. Okay. It's a semicolon. Java underscore home. Okay, that is fine. Now copy paste back to path and uh, say okay, okay. Sorry, just missed it. Yeah. Okay, I paste it. Yeah, okay. Say okay and close this uh, command prompt and uh, open new one. Then it will be easy. Okay. And uh, yeah, open the command prompt. Yeah, you need to type Java, then give a space. Okay. Yeah, then iPhone version. Hit enter. So this is the version you are getting. That is 1.8. That is the software you have installed. Okay, I didn't press the space yeah. before, sir. So. Yeah, that is the reason. That's okay. 
so okay. this is about uh, uh, java whether uh, java installed or not okay but okay. we are, we don't need only java we need compiler as well because we are going to write the program and compile okay i will explain what is the compile later but and i will also explain what is the jre also but as of now we need compiler also can you type uh, uh, chaitanya and uh, devraj java c in command prompt open command prompt again and type java c no space right no space command yeah java c hit enter yeah if compiler is also also installed properly and set the environment variables actually we don't need uh, uh, java compiler separately to set the environment as soon as you install jdk it comes along with that and uh, as soon as you set the environment of uh, environment variable of jdk it will be fine and when you type java c you should be able to see these kind of information that is a uh, help information i uh, should not give any error such as java c, java c is not identified uh, there are are you getting the same uh, information or are you getting some errors no, no. same thing same. same right so it means that java is completely installed in our machine so that is a uh, ready to work and you can uh, start uh, writing the program we'll start writing the program before that i what i will do i will uh, uh, try to explain few theoretical things then it will be easy to go ahead are you able to see my screen now yes okay yes okay so let me uh, explain some theoretical uh, uh terminology terminology so that you will uh, you know be familiar with them because each time uh, uh, we start with working uh, java or uh, if you start working with the uh, programming you will be coming across some of the terminology i wanted to make it very clear you guys are aware about the terminology okay so there is a one term called jdk i think uh, you have seen there is a folder called jdk right so what is that jdk and after that there is a, uh, a folder called uh, jre2 so what is that jre let us uh, try to understand by a simple example here okay so here i have a, a, a one uh, image can i know what is this image devraj it's a kit cricket kit okay so what is this cricket kit means a kit or it's a you know group of all the materials or the things which are necessary to play cricket such as bat pads ball helmet almost gloves so everything is going to be there in the inside a kit so there's a cricket kit means a cricket kit is a, a one which is going to have all the necessary things to play cricket jdk is nothing but almost similar jdk is a kit jdk is nothing but java development kit the kit this is a nothing but a folder or a kit this will have all the tools files folders which are necessary to write the program as a folder uh, as a cricket kit this is a java kit cricket kit contains uh, all the uh, things which are necessary to play cricket java kit or java development kit is going to contains all the folders files which are going to necessary for writing the program what are the programs or what are the files you will be having inside the jdk you have seen that jdk folder if you open that jdk folder there will be some other folder if you open open a few more folders which are there inside you will be able to see these kind of uh, files such as java c java c is nothing but java compiler java doc there's a you know documentation about the each and every command or uh, classes uh, there will be something about uh, uh, apple uh, uh, tv viewer apt jar so many files will be there inside you, you may not uh, uh, know about uh, them or it's not necessary to 
go inside each and every folder and know about the folder structure or file structure but you should know that jdk is nothing but a kit if this kit is going to have number of folders number of files which are necessary to write the program that is java program okay so this is as good as the kit kit is it clear yeah okay here there is a one more folder called jre just beside uh, jdk in your machine there will be one more folder called jre what is that jre what jre stands for jre stands for java runtime environment so what is this java and uh, runtime environment then okay let me show you one more uh, image okay let us say you don't have cricket kit with you okay but uh, when i say you don't have cricket kit means you cannot play cricket obviously i mean no, i'm not talking about small cricket or gully cricket i'm talking about the professional cricket where we are going to uh, uh, play with the you know hard leather ball so if you don't have cricket kit or if you don't have proper bat el uh, helmet and pad you cannot play but it doesn't mean that you cannot watch the cricket in the sense if you don't have cricket kit still you can go to ground and you can watch the cricket which is going to play by some other teams or some other members maybe friends or maybe any team right so you can go and watch the cricket even though you don't have cricket kit with you okay so jr is uh, nothing but it's it's going to play like a ground when you install you know uh, uh, java in your uh, machine this jdk acts as a cricket kit whereas jre acts as a ground ground is nothing but say some other people can play the cricket exactly the some other program which is written by someone else not by you can be executed in your machine in a sense you you may not have jdk in your system but you should in, in order to execute the program which is written by someone you need the ground you need the J, uh, jre that is java run, uh, runtime environment is nothing but a, a program this is going to execute the program this will help you to write, execute the program it, this can be that program may be written by you or maybe someone else if we have jdk as well as jre in your system you can write the program and execute but if you don't have jdk but you have only jre means you can execute the program written by someone else that's why whenever you get a new computer or if you reboot the computer and you want to try to access application developed by java what happens at that time it will going to ask you to install jre means if you want to access a website which is developed by by using java that needs jre that needs ground if you don't have jre if you don't have ground you cannot play cricket you cannot execute the program so this is what the jre and jdk so jdk is nothing but it's a, a kit this is going to have files folder structures uh, it, uh, necessary to develop the program jre is nothing but it's a must uh, 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 ground where you can execute the uh, program this can this may be written by you or maybe someone else so in order to do it you need these two in your machine 